Before you can build a container using Azure Container Registry tasks, there's a few prerequisites we have to get out of the way. The first one is you need to have an Azure Container Registry. Below in the description, I've linked a blog post I created recently regarding this. You will also need a GitHub account. Inside your GitHub account, you're going to need a repo with a Docker file and a basic bit of code to make a container. I have one of these please feel free to um, clone it, fork it, um, and you can use that. In your GitHub account, you're also gonna need a personal access token. I won't go through creating that in this guide, but below you'll find an accompanying blog post to this video. In there, it shows you how to create the um, personal access token. Once you have all of that out of the way, you're ready to create your first build task. So to do that, we need to either go to the shell.azure.com and select bash, or we can create it using your favorite bash prompt. I'm using Penguin. Um, it's a Windows subsystem for Linux. It's really nice. So first off, I have a command over here to set some environment variables. Quite self-explanatory. The first one is the name of our container registry. Second one is your Git user. The third one is your personal access token from Git. So I'm just going to copy those three environment variables and paste them into my window. Now we're actually ready to create our first task. I have a bit more code here. So this is az acr task create. Uses the registry with the environment variable we set previously. I'm calling this task build pixel web. I'm using the next switch image, which names the container uh, image pixel web and then uses the run ID of the task as its tag. The next is context. This is a link to where my Git repo is. Next, I use the branch master. I then link to where my docker file is so i have it in a folder called acr tasks and it's called docker file i then pass in my git personal access token and because i'm using a windows container i put the platform as windows so the build task will run on a windows server so if we just paste that into our bash window it should go off, run the task, well, create the task. Could take a little while, so I will pause the video here and we'll come back once it's finished. Success, the task is completed. Now we can actually go ahead and run the task for the first time. So to do that, we're gonna use AZ ACR task run against this registry with our new task we just created. So I'll copy that and paste it into my bash window. This will go ahead and start running the task for us. As you can see, it's been queued with a run ID of DC1, which is what the image will be tagged with. So one minute, 33 seconds later, the image has successfully been built and pushed to our Azure Container Registry. Nice and easy. So uh, let's try and automate that with a git push. We've already created the task that does this. So all we have to do is go to our git repo or your favorite code editor, make a change and push the commit back. So let me just open up GitHub. I have my index.html file. I'm just going to use the uh, web to edit this. I'm just going to change it from version 4 to version 5. If I could spell. And 
and then I'm going to commit the changes. This will now go off and the ACR task will find this change um, because of the webhook that it has created in the background and it will start building our new container image. To check the progress, we can use the AZ ACR task logs command. This will go off and look at our container registry and see any logs for the tasks. As you can see, we are now seeing run ID DC2. This is the one from the commit. I just let this finish. Success, the second image has been created with the tag of DC2. We can um, get an output of all of the run tasks by using the AZ ACR task list runs command. So I'll just show you what that looks like. As you can see, we've had two succeeded runs of our, our task, both running Windows platforms. One was a manual run and the other was the commit. Um, and there we go. We've created an ACR task that automatically builds a container image when a git commit happens. Nice and easy. Um, obviously you could do multi-stage Docker files to make this a lot better, but I've just done a simple HTML web page to show you how easy it really is. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button and um, hit the notification bell to be alerted when I release another video. Thanks again, and uh, until next time.